Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based data integration service that allows you to create data-driven workflows in cloud for orchestrating and automating data movement and data transformation. In this video, we will be covering the core components of Azure Data Factory, which are pipelines, activities, data sets, linked services, data flows, and integration runtime. In the end, we will also share details about our free Azure Data Engineer Masterclass, which will not only help you to understand basics, but it will also give an idea of the learning path to follow. It will be helpful, especially when you're preparing for Azure Data Science Certification, that's implementing Azure Data Solutions, DB200, and designing Azure Data Solution, DB201 which will earn you Azure Data Engineer Certification. Welcome to another episode of Azure Data Science Video Series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner, covering implementing data storage and designing for data security, to all the way designing for resilience, including batch processing, analytics, architecture, and monitoring, as well as how to prepare for the Azure Data Engineer Certification. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on implementing an Azure Data Solution, that's DP200. And in this clip, our Microsoft Certified Trainer will talk about Azure Data Factory. So this is a clip taken from a module on orchestrating data movement with Azure Data Factory. Let's hear from an expert trainer on the same. Coming over to the core components of Data Factory. And when we talk about the core components, we have a data set. That's the first thing. We also have linked services and uh, we have activities and the fourth thing is pipeline so what is the meaning of pipeline pipeline means everything like if i have multiple activities over there so we create pipeline so if i just make a box over here let's say this is one pipeline and as part of this pipeline i have various activities over there these activities might be sequential these activities might be parallel these activities might be having 200 steps over there so really doesn't matter you can have very big pipelines as well and they run on the schedule so these in individual will be those activity like copy data activity or lookup activity or big data activity or spark activity or if you know hive or pig or, or something like this all these activities are there now meaning of data set is so imagine i am reading my data from aws right so aws uh, in the demo we are going to do that so we are pulling the data from there so that we represent in a Azure Data Factory as a data set. So let's say this is where my real data exists. So I have to represent that data somehow in the configuration. So what do I do? I create a data set. So this data set is a representation of the data in the source location. So we specify that. And once we have specified, we also need to link it, right? If you want to read data from AWS, you want to write into some location, you want to read from on-premise or from, you, you want to extract data from Google Cloud Platform, you need to basically have the credentials over there. You need to have the URL, the username, password, access keys, or, ex, or you can say uh, any type of authentication mechanism should be there. So all of that authentication mechanism is part of linked services. We create that. So these are core components of Data Factory. And uh, let's uh, go ahead. And I think I have covered all of them in the same slide. So that is amazing. And a couple of more things are there. We, when we talk about, uh, 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 we can say data factory as a data engineer, a couple of important terms come into picture. There is a concept called as IR. So don't worry about it right now. It may be a little uh, difficult. I'll show this same thing in the demo as well. But what is the meaning of IR? So whenever any task is being done let's say i want to pull data from aws i want to extract my data from google cloud platform or on on premises compute will be utilized behind the scenes some resources will be utilized some server will be pulling that information from there and will be writing into the location so that server or the computer resources which are running behind the scenes are called as ir integration runtime similarly we have parameters as such parameters are runtime parameter so you want to say that okay this pipeline will trigger, but you created a parameter day. So when you run the pipeline, you can specify which day it needs to run. And as a parameter, you can change the value afterwards. You can run it on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday and so on and so forth. So you, you can say par parameterized pipeline. Control flow means that basically you might be having some sort of uh, control structure. Maybe there is if then else statement is there, or maybe you are talking about if this happens, then that should happen, and then this should happen. So all of those are part of data factory offerings as such. 
So, that was a clip taken from one of the lessons from our step-by-step -step training program on implementing an Azure data solution. That's DP200. I would like to invite you for a free 90-minute session with Microsoft Certified Expert Trainer, where we talk about the Azure Data Engineer training and share information about getting certified by using our step-by-step -step roadmap to go from complete beginner to a certified Azure Data Engineer. If you are interested, register for a free class by going on to k21academy.com slash dp200.02. Additionally, we will show live demo, extract, transform, and load data using Azure Databricks. We will also share information about the certification exam. So, you can register for free by going on to this URL, k21academy.com slash dp200.02. I will see you in another episode of Azure Data Science Video Series from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.